we are going to make banana bread at the NWOCYC church camp. And it's kind of loud in here, so sorry. But anyways, so we had some bananas, and this is Mark. He has a doctor and a farmer, and he's got a beautiful family, and he comes out and volunteers a whole week out at the camp um, for the kids. So we're going to make banana bread. Um, I guess that's it. All right, you can start doing those if you want. We're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna peel them and just stick them in the bowl. This is a banana bread that's been, I don't know, like 20 years. Yours is good because yours is good. Trash, I'm making a mess. All right, so these bananas have been in the refrigerator and the better, the darker the skin typically, the better inside because it's so sugary. And so you're going to want to find bananas that are full of sugar so that you can have the best banana bread. Okay, and I'll hold on with this. We are, uh, let's see what's four times, four times in the batch, whatever that is. Um, because we had all these bananas. Four times. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Four times the batch, um, we have all this um, bananas. And now we have to go wash, just a second. If you have a Pampered Chef um, meat tool, you can totally mash up the um, bananas. But Not Mark is chef. no no Pampered Chef here at camp. But Mark's gonna go ahead and mash these with the masher. You don't want to puree them because you do want some texture pieces in your banana bread. I feel like it makes it softer, so and more moist. Okay. Um, you just don't want big chunks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. And so then we need one cup of sugar, and we'll have Mark do the sugar. And you want to not heaping. That's one. Yep. You don't want a heaping cup of sugar. You want a um, level. So you typically, if you want, I am really hoarse. I'm so sorry. I've been at camp this week and things scare me, like mice and different things that might creep out at you. And so I spent a lot of creepy things and just, I can't talk hardly. Hopefully it's not chunky. Okay, so there we go. How many do we need? We need four cups. Nice, your presentation. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> why don't you like flip it out like too much? And you are. Do you cook at home, Mark? Oh, wait, there's more. Huh? They let me work at people. Yes. Do you cook at home? Yeah. Yeah. He did just make banana bread um, earlier today, and so. Um, but what? Oh no. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, he did make some banana bread. I might get some out when I'm having him do something. And it was very nice and it looked great. Okay. I don't know how it tastes because I didn't try it. It was good. Good. Because I made it. Yeah, it's true. Okay. So, we need four eggs. And you brought chicken eggs from your house, right? Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. So, you guys, if you don't, if you don't live on a farm or you don't have chickens, um, he's got roosters. So, it's like a Russian roulette when you're trying to open the eggs up. And so he already pre-did them because we didn't want, didn't they find something this morning? Yeah, you don't want to have baby chicken in here. In your bread. In your bread, it's not good. I mean, we want protein and all, but not that kind. Okay, so he's gonna put four eggs in there. Perfect, all right. So we also needed butter and it's gonna be two sticks of butter because it's a fourth cup for each batch. And sometimes I stir it a little to get it all going and then stick it in. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna have him stir it because this part, you don't wanna add the flour and all because it'll be lumpy and clumpy. So this part you just stir. I like telling you what to do. I think I didn't stir mine last time because it was lumpy and clumpy. Oh, was it? Aw, well. The last piece I ate was a little. Had some dough clumps. Well, so that's why we're doing this, just as an education. <laughs> He's a teacher too. I teach, but he teaches what he teaches. 
Beach. Residence. Residence. Medicine. Okay, so, because he's a doctor. Not like um, nursing home residence, but doctor. Doctor residence. Yes, people that are going to be. All right, so what do you want to do? Yes, and he says he watches my videos, but I don't know because if he would have, you would have known to do this, so I don't know. I'm thinking you're doctoring me here. All right, so look how nice and liquidy it is. Can you see? Okay, so truly, if you could see what you are. Oh, yeah, there you go. If you can see what this is on, it's on, um, there we go. You see? All right, perfect. It is so nice because he's so, oh! <laughs> oh, I got it on the floor. Now, it's not really a problem, but sometimes it can be. Anyways, um, it is on little trays holding up my phone. Okay, so now what you want to do, you don't add the flour still. You add um, one teaspoon of baking soda, which... This is kind of janky. I I don't know. Um, also not Cambridgeshire. It's I don't think so unless it's older. No, it's brown. Well, no. Cambridgeshire. <laughs> Cambridgeshire. Um, yeah. So I'm hoping, truly, that really is a teaspoon. I mean, it says it. So I'm thinking that sure. I kind of eyeball it, but that's okay. Sure, it's a teaspoon. All right. So we need four of those of uh, baking soda, and I will definitely post the. Um, Link, I mean the recipe. Oh, I thought you were going to take the selfie with them. Um, post. Oh, oh, that's a smart. Oh, I see. See, there's two teaspoons. Wow. Okay. So that's a good idea. All right. Good, good, good. good. All right. So, I don't remember what I said. Something about. Something. Oh, I'm going to post the recipe. So, like, because we're, you know, making four, and you can make one if you want. Okay, perfect. And then, oh, we didn't get salt. Okay, so we need one teaspoon of salt, which times four is four. Four teaspoons? Yes, please. Wait, no, 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 you never, okay, that's a good thing. I'm so glad you did that. You never pour, oh God. You never pour chunky. It would've been bad, would've been chunky salt in there. You never pour chunky salt over, you never pour salt, wait a minute, go up a little bit, okay, yes, perfect, just flip it out. Uh, you never put salt, wait, wait, okay, yes. oh, I'm sorry, oh. Yes. no, you're fine. Yes, you never do it over your bowl because truly there can be a mistake or an accident or it can like clump out, okay, and you always want that level, can perfect, I the same? yes, okay, go ahead and stir, thank you. We work in the kitchen. I, I'm the drink girl here at um, the canteen, or at um, the camp, and I do canteen. And he does all the dishes, and he does grill and cook and whatever. So take out the trash. Yes. So at least he knows. And mops. He mops. Um, at least he knows. Okay, you're getting a little crazy with that. I don't want that on me. Um, okay. All right. So now, once you add all of that, then you add your flour. And does she have a whisk? I bet there's a whisk. There's a whisk. We want to whisk the flour so it's not clumpy. Um, that is another little trick. Instead of sifting, because nobody likes to sift um, flour, it hurts your hand. So you just kind of put the whisk in the bag. And, oh, that's a big whisk. Oh, oh. So put the whisk in the bag. Okay, and then you just stir it around. Now, if you're tall like them, this would be not a problem. But when I have to stand on my tippy toes to do it, sometimes, you know, that can be whatever. All right, so we need one and a half cups of flour. How much flour do we need for four? You were looking at that and figuring it out, weren't you? Oh my goodness, okay. I get paid to do stuff like that. All right. And he's not getting any payment here. Six cups. All right, yes, because it's one and a half. Now, do I put all six in or do I put a couple in and then you stir it? Yes, you put, uh, yeah, thank you. Um, you put three. Do I put all six in or do I put <laughs> some no. and then you stir it? Yes. Yeah, I know. Okay, so put three, please. And I do like how you put that around like that, because I usually just dump it, so that's good. And do you see bad. how, I know, what? I'm not bad at this. Okay, I'm not saying you are. Um, do you see how like light and fluffy it is because yes. we use the whisk? Okay, would you do that in how? Okay, so see, if, if we you were making that... cake, I would see. Oh, really? Really? I never make homemade cake. Duncan Hines, Debbie Max Jeffers. Makes here, no. definitely okay, Debbie Jeffers, and she doesn't mind if I use the name. She told me the hi, Debbie. Yes, hi Debbie. 
Um, she told me the best cake mix is Duncan Hines, and she is absolutely correct. Um, that's the only one I use. I feel like I'm going to get flour. That's the only one I use is Duncan Hines because it is the moistest and the best. Okay, and so by doing this, you're going to alleviate a lot of chunks. Now, you can do it like that, or you can use this big old whisk. At home, I wouldn't have this industrial sized whisk to do. Are you seeing this one? You do this one? Okay. So, like, if you just do it, okay, go ahead. I'm waiting for it to click in my face. <laughs> This is a very forgiving recipe, which I kind of like because I do like. Because, um, uh oh, something's flashing. I don't know why. Hold on. And they came back. First year, and then I came back. Like you were sick, sick, or homesick? Sick. Oh, okay. You didn't want to go home? And I was sad that I had to go home sick. Aww. So then they all oh, point over here. So then you have to come back. And so you were a camper, right? Yep. Yep. And then um, you came back, or you just always stayed, and then you probably became a counselor at 18. Yep. And then and what? Counsel most of the years, except for when I was in school and I took that couple years off, maybe. Okay. And then now you still counsel, but you still do like kitchen work, right? Yep. The grueling dishes. The dishes. And mopping. The garbage. The mopping. You always mention the garbage. Is mm -hmm. that like a sore subject or I don't know? It's not my favorite. No. Is it always, is it ever drippy garbage or? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, or is it like stinky? Like what? What kind? It's, it's food garbage. Okay, it listen. Stinks. He was doing chickens and oh my gosh, I came in and it was like death. And we thought maybe something died. We didn't know, but it was um, just the chicken juice, and it was nasty. Yeah, the rotten chicken juice is pretty bad. Yeah, and especially when you have to fling it in the dumpster, and then does it ever get on you? Yeah, that's why I put you in there. Yes, he did. Okay. Put your golf cart over there, right? So his wife gets here, and um, <coughs> uh, someone had parked in her spot. It was not me but she needed the golf cart to be moved over, so he moved it. So she tells me, and so I said, all right, let's play a joke on him. So then I was acting like I was all upset because someone was touching my you know, golf cart and whatever, which I don't really care. And then he proceeds to go out, and she tells me, she says, he said he's gonna do something. And I'm like, okay, I never thought you'd do the golf cart. Well, he parks it right by the trash can, like the trash dumpster, which in the middle of the day has dead, flies and meat well, smelling. Were alive. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm sorry. The flies were alive. They were maggots and everything. And I have to go get, I mean, I, this is as much room between my tire and the, tra and the trash can. And so you think it's funny. You're still laughing. Anyway, I was like, oh my gosh. Well, I'm so glad he, you could have done it the other way, and then I, that would have been awful. I guess I would have just gotten in the other way. Okay, anyways. So, I'm trying to move it and not it's whip, idea. It no, stop. not get too much fumes up, and it, it was bad. I mean, it's, it's humid today, it's hot, it's probably, what, 165? And it's just really ridiculous. So, anyways, I then thought, I'm gonna pay him back, and I said, I, hit the front of the um, golf cart. And I was acting sad. I was trying to look at him without laughing because sometimes when I lie, I laugh. So I was like, all right, don't laugh. And, you know, just really seriously believe this yourself and tell him. And he's like, oh, well, you were intrigued. I do think for a split second, you did believe me that I did it. For a I, have split, five, I have five kids, so I know when somebody's lying. I know, but for a split second, you didn't? No, because he kept asking me about it, so I feel like you wouldn't have asked me. You didn't believe me at all? Really? I knew how I parked it. You would have had to... I know, I said I did. Really, I said I accidentally turned the really wheel wrong. Really foolish. Well, I, run into the dumpster. I said I did. And at that point, it's not my fault if you did I know, he's like, well, sorry. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. 
Um, and then my son, who comes in, um, really helped me out with the whole thing because he says, what did you say? I just asked him to ask you what happened with the golf cart. No, 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 he didn't know that. You just said, oh, yeah. you said something about, something about asking mom what she did. Yes, and then Thomas just went crazy. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, like don't say anything. And he's like, um, I told him I went in like all panic mode, right? Because I still thought you thought I was telling the truth. I'm like, don't say anything. I'm going to have to get it fixed before that. And I was acting like I was worried and whatever. Um, so you're saying I'm not a good actress, I think, is what you're saying. I don't know if you're a good actress or not a good liar. All right, I have to get better at that, I guess. But anyway, so anyways, I finally told him, and he didn't care anyways. And that's what made me upset, because I'm like, oh my gosh, you didn't even care. You were like, man, you shouldn't have done it. It's your own fault. Was not sympathetic at all to me that I was feeling this awfulness because I had hit the vehicle. Yeah, you didn't care. I, I said, that makes a really good doctor, someone without emotion. Because I'm just saying it. Because now, and now we're just gonna watch it. Now he's a great doctor, seriously. Um, but truly, you can keep your emotions in check, which is good. And I. And I have my kids, and I know what people are alive, so made it easier. So if I would have sunglasses on, or the story just wasn't good you enough. You just would have told the truth. Maybe the story just wasn't good enough. I don't know. But anyway, still, I felt like. You just were my friend today, so. But that is good though that you have no emotions. What does your family call it? Like the some stare that you do. They say they call it. Oh, I can't think of it. No, it's a some stare. Like you can see through people, and you just stare through them. They call. They say it's like something because they knew the name. It's like they named it for you. You don't know what it's called. Like a mile stare, walk stare, or something. Like that. I don't know. Something like that. Anyways, let's go back to camp. Okay. No, I'm not. I was sitting out there and they were talking about it because you kept staring in here. Yeah, see, I'm not. Did I look like I was lying? Because I was, okay. No, I was trying to figure out what you were saying. Okay. It looked like you were telling the truth that time. <laughs> How awful are you? Okay, so, what were we saying? Okay, back to camp. So you were a counselor, or you were a camper, and then you were a counselor, and now you're doing your thing. And now his kids, all five of them, come here. It's so cute. So cute. And um, his wife has come down and she's helping with, um, and we didn't ask her if she wanted to be mentioned, but I think she'd be okay, right? Maybe. We'll dub that out. Maybe if she doesn't. I have no dubbing thing. <laughs> Capabilities. It's already on tape too, so I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm going to check these real quick. We have, oh wait a minute, I said 20 minutes, you said 10, and now it's on 13. So. Oh, thanks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is it working? I know. That's what I said. Is it working? I put it at uh, almost 400. Does it have to go higher? This would be a funny, but it didn't look like it would be not. Like, you know what I mean? Oh. Show you some things, but it might scare you. 
Um, now Mark does, you know, weather the storm. I mean, he's out in cabin 12, um, and it, it's kind of air conditioning. It's not that bad. No, it's not that bad? It's got two air conditioning. Okay, so it's got air conditioning, and does it, is it like, yeah? It's like 65 degrees every night. Okay, so that's great. Is it clean? It's, it's camp teenage clean. Teenage boys are in there, so it's not clean. Does it stink? Like teenage boys. My children don't smell, so I don't know. Do they stink? Well, I would think if they're like clothes or all. Yeah, it probably stinks. Yeah. Okay, it didn't stink on Sunday because they aired it out on Saturday, and that's the only time I went in. Um, so, I stay in my RV just because, um, you know, you just like the comforts of home when you're away. And it, I know it's funny. Um, but anyway. All right, so we're gonna have to pause this. I feel terrible because he's tired. And actually, what time did you get up? A long time ago. No, like what? How? What time? Six thirty-ish. Oh, I got up at four. So when I went, and what time did you go to bed? Last night. Oh, I went to bed at one. So I'm still better. I mean, it's still good. I did. I went to bed at one and got up at four. So I've only had three hours of sleep, and I think that's why I'm like maybe I don't know what happened to the oven because I thought you turned it on. Truly. I thought I turned it on. I wonder if it's on the video. Or, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I thought you turned it on prior to. We all have to watch take one. But I turned it on a long time ago. Like for lunch or like for this? Oh, okay. Specifically for this. Okay. All right. So, anyways, we will pause and let this timer go. And I was thinking it didn't look like it was doing anything, right? No, Is that what you thought? Great. Were you a little nervous? Like, what's going on? What's happening? I just thought it was your recipe. Amazing. My recipe is good. You like it. It's one first place at the Wood County Fair. You just took your food over this way. So we're like, I, I gotta be in the middle of the whole of the thing. Yes, so that's true. That's true. Um, it won first place. And it's not us. You will love this recipe. It's really good. Also, have you ever made pancakes with them? Like the recipe? So you make the recipe, and you know how you like the tops of muffins? You just put it on a griddle, and you just make the banana bread and what do you put on it when you're done what what do you put on it when you're done oh nothing you just, just the banana bread oh my gosh it's so good no sir no you butter. put the butt yeah you put the butter on the griddle and then you just like put it on and they get to bite like that big and they puff up just a little oh my gosh they're so good you have to do it sounds good yeah if i had more batter i'd do it right now because it's not like we don't have well, time to kill i'm gonna have to kill <laughs> Uh, all right, so is this like a surgery? Are, are you ever in with surgery, like surgery things? No. Like, so what do you? What, I, I don't know. Maybe you don't want to do. You I tell us pictures all day. Okay. Um, you are you read <laughs> right? Actual pictures <laughs> and cat scans and MRIs. Be more specific. Yes. Your flowers and things, or whatever mushrooms would be. Yeah, there. I have a grow light right behind me. With all my stuff. Right there. Okay. My fig trees. Okay, now do you eat the figs? Can you eat them? Yes. Do you eat fig leaves? Fig leaves? Do they have leaves? Yes, leaves? they have leaves. I wouldn't eat them. They, have, they actually have latex in them. Oh, that's good not, to know if you have a latex them. allergy. Um, if you just have skin, it's not. Oh. Not what? Idea. Are the figs you eat? Why are they like toxic? Well, they're right. But so the plant itself, them? that white stuff that comes out of it, is toxic. So don't eat it. Don't get it on your skin. Okay, <laughs> and so do you open. You I mean, how make, do you, you eat? You wouldn't the make grape leaves or fig leaves. It wouldn't be a good idea. I, aren't they shrivelly? And what am I thinking of? Dates. You're probably thinking of dates. Okay, so figs. Are, are, how big are they? Okay, so can wait, did they see that? Okay, so it's a fig is like really and what do you do with them? You just eat them? Like just eat them. Are like candy? Like are they sweet? Really sweet yeah. Can you make recipes with them? Okay. Hmm. Fig noodles. <laughs> Have you ever made a fig noodle? I'm sorry. Okay, this is the thing. I gotta make sure this is still taping. Oh, it looks like it is. Okay. This is gonna be an hour number two. Um, no, how long do you think we've gone? This time? A long time. Like how long? Well, we went. I know. 
Well, 10 or 15 minutes there. Yeah. So what do you think? Like 20 minutes. About 25. Okay. That was the oh, second take. Takes 25. This one's second. The second takes 25. I bet the first one's 15. We've been on for a long time. I'm tired. I, I'm more tired because I haven't got less sleep. Okay. This is I the thing. Harder. What? He does. He does work harder than his mouth. And his foot on my golf cart. It's hard to work. Anyways, um, what else was I going to ask you? What's the thing? Hmm. I, I don't want to really ask too much about your office. Because it's not very exciting. There's a computer and there's a pile of plants behind it. And does anybody touch your plants or do you water them or what? They don't touch them. They don't go in your office. No, my like dogs that. come in. I have two labs, and their tails go like this. Wait a minute. Oh, his office leaves. at home. I'm thinking at the hospital. Yeah, That's what I was wondering. How do you do that? Like, they let you do that? Oh, I bet the viewers were thinking that, too. I can work from home, and I have an office in my house. Okay, that makes more sense. Because I'm like, what the heck? They're cleaning people come in, and there's figs all over there. What are they thinking? And they could do something. There's no plans in my work office. All right. That makes more sense. I was a little, you know, thinking about what was going on. All right. So, all right. Come on. So, your office at home. Do you ever go into work? Do you have a, like, oh, you do. Okay. But you can do most of oh my God. I can do some. You like, can do some. Like one day a week. <laughs> and I'm really good at Now, do you ever watch my show? While I'm working? Of course not. No. Absolutely not. But no, do you ever watch it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Have you subscribed? This is why I know about the Duncan Hines cake recipe. Yeah. That Debbie Jeffers told you about. Yeah. I've seen it on your channel. Mm hmm. I but wonder if Debbie's. I did not watch subscribed. your unboxing of something. Oh, you don't what like that? Um, I had three. My wife gets those, so okay. I don't know what comes in and mine wasn't actually. Oh, watching. it was Fab Fit Fun. I'm sure it was entertaining. Yes. You should subscribe. Hit yes. the subscribe button below. Yes, please. Um, yeah. She, Taylor brought a chicken in on one of them, and then a rabbit. And I don't usually I like that in my shisha, because that's where... That was in the shisha? Yeah, I did. And everyone was like, oh my gosh, where are you taking from? Do you have an oven in your shisha? No, no, I, I was doing the boxes in the shisha. Oh. I could put an oven in the shisha, because I, I do have... I saw the shisha one where all your... Stuff. Stuff was. Yeah. Yeah, my sister's business. Crafting. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well. No. Yes. She has Baltic Essentials, and um, they have all kinds of natural products that we take care of and you know ship out to people that in need. It smells like some spoken. I know it does. I was thinking, all I can smell is pine salt, and now it smells like banana bread. Yeah, it does. It's good. Now this is the thing. The oven wasn't totally on at all, right? So, this totally might be a flop. And if it is, that's okay. And this will be a... This will be a um, lesson learned that you need to check the oven. And I guess, I mean, seriously, we're standing here in 135 degree heat. We didn't feel any more. We should have known. You should have known. He's in here all the time. I just go through... Is it hot on the outside? Yeah. I just go through and get flex stuff. Like, Whatever. It doesn't look like the heat's on there. I don't know. Well, you use the heat. So maybe I should turn it down to 350. Because I, I'm seriously going to put it up to 500. I'm like, what the heck is going on? I don't know. Not like your air fryer at home or your oven at home, but whatever. You guys have two ovens, don't you? Or two dishwashers? You have two of something. Two ovens. Two ovens. And, and do you have like that? A big one? It's a big one. Well, I have a little one which I love, and then I have one like this. I hate. You got one like this. Oh, I hate it. Do you like it? Because there's all these shells. Yeah, there's no shells. And do you air fry? What do you air fry? Fix? Could you air fry a fix? You can air fry whatever you want. I know. Wouldn't be good. Oh. Uh, what do you air fry? Chicken nuggets. Do you make your own? He's got chickens, and he told me he processes them himself. He told me all about the process. We don't make chicken nuggets out of it. Oh, you don't? No. Oh, so wait a minute. Are you just, you're, oh, so you do buy the chicken, like chicken breast or whatever, make your own chicken nuggets in the air fryer? No, usually since we have five kids, we just buy some chicken nuggets. From the store? From the store. Okay. What else? Right. Hey, have you ever Onion made? Onion rings. Onion rings, those are good. Yeah. Have you ever made? They're good when they're crispy. 
Yes, they are very good when they're crispy. Do you ever buy the Gordon Food ones? Sometimes, like, you know, when you're out camping, um, and you make things like that, and the, just the humidity, I think, softens up the thing. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, have you ever made fresh french fries in your air fryer? Like, we cut the fries? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you gotta do that. Okay, I do that for my kids all the time. So you just wash the, and I don't feel the skins, because, I mean, I don't have time for that. So you just wash the outside, you cut them up, you toss them in salt and olive oil, you throw them, I mean, I guess that defeats the air frying, but you, you throw it in your air fryer, you hit potato, oh my gosh, and then you have malt vinegar. Is it faster than frying? Oh, yes, it's so good. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's good, How it's healthy. It I don't know, you just push the button. You just have a french fry button. Yeah, you don't? <laughs> what? It's not digital? It's got like little dials. How old is it? Hmm. I don't, I'm sure your manual says what to do. And then you get ketchup and salt and malt vinegar. It's like you're at Cedar Point. Like Happy Friday? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, they're really good. Parmesan bread? I haven't had that. Oh, that's the best. What do you, what do you mean? How do you make it? I go to the Happy Friday and I say... Wait, oh, what's a Happy Friday? Oh, at the, okay, okay, sorry, at the Cedar Point place. Cedar okay, I'm sorry. You, just you act like you were I going to the store. You said, oh. I got it, but then I moved on because I thought you did it a different place. Okay, so no. you go to the Happy Fire people. Yeah, you say I spent for some time. I did see that, and it's a dollar fifty more, right? I don't know. My wife lies in the corner. What? She has to stand in line. You don't, I are you too good to stand in line? You split fingers. Oh! Oh, you got a bug on you! Okay, sorry. <laughs> did you see, did you feel it? Like, hit you? You seriously didn't? We're videotaping, so sorry. Sometimes we have guests or people in. All right, I'm going to pause it, and hopefully it's cooking. We have like 10 it more minutes. It smells like it's cooking. It is, it does. So we have about 10 more minutes, and um, we will be back. Okay, so we just happened to open this just to kind of check it out. And I don't know why I'm grabbing this, but I'm going to let him do that. Um, and they're, they look brown. I'm worried. They look like something happened. Yes, I'm worried that maybe they're not done now um, inside. Unless it's like magic. Are right, you going to test it? A special thing? Yeah, no, just put it in the middle. Oh, I feel not. Almost. Yes, yes. No, you okay. Well, this one is either. Yes. You think? It's not. I'm going to show the mirror. What he thought was. All right, wait, 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 wait. We got to put, mm -hmm. no, we got to put foil on top. Because this, I mean, mine never get this brown. Yeah, let's just put foil just right on top. I'm going to, or here's the foil. So uh, because I don't want to get any more browner. More browner? More, well, more browner. I mean, what, how would you say more it? More browner. Brown. I don't know. Burnt? I don't want them burnt. burnt because then that would be defeating the whole. Thing. Okay, not really. Oh, no. it's not. Yeah, I think. Really I know. It's really not. Okay. Sounds like I'm working in the right now. What? When the wind starts blowing around. I know. It's a little crazy, but it should be alright. We'll see. Yeah, just push it down. Sure. I don't know. On confection, it would be 325, which I might turn it on just a bit. You never really want to stay here when you're cooking, but I mean, just a little. And that is not done. <laughs> that is not done. Hold on, we got to rinse. All right, so we will pause. <clears throat> Do we have any commercials? Give me jokes. Oh, we were telling about Northwest Ohio. Okay, so we um, are raising funds for Northwest Ohio Christian Youth Camp here out in McCutcheonville for a new mess hall because we truly, truly need one. Um, we want to be able to have more kids here, and it's going to be all season, right? All season. 
So you can, we could camp in the winter, which would maybe be nice. I don't know what you would do. It'd be nicer than that being able to camp in the winter. Right. And it's very hot this week. But the kids would be able to, I, okay, this is my goal or my, my, uh, this is what I want. I want a Tell chilling. <laughs> no, sing it. No. Um, <laughs> A chilling table because I do the dreams. Now I don't know if I'll do the dreams forever, but I would like a chilling table. Don't you think that'd be good? Seriously. Be okay. Because truly, if there was a chilling table, um, we could put the drinks out. I mean, hours. I could be done for a while. No, I'm joking. We could put it out for at least you know half hours. Just have cold pictures and drinks and Oh, that's a good. Well, I know, but we can't already have. No, I'm saying if the table was chilled. And you had your cups, they would stay cool, and maybe a lip on them, you know, so that I don't know if it's still. I, you know, we get to get into that. It's just not a building I can't see outside. What? A building where I can't see outside from the cracks. Oh yes, because truly, um, we have the air running in here. I mean, the oven now it has begun, but you can feel the effects of the air. I mean, it is. It is a. It's been used. It's been well loved and and used. When was it built? 1950. Yeah, 1940, I thought. But maybe it's 50. It was a, a long white, time ago. Yes, you could Google that. Even before the Yes, definitely. Because like, I mean, I'm not even hungry that old. Um. But anyway, <laughs> did I stab you, or you knew it was coming? Did I touch you? I did it. I'm You're gonna, gonna stab me. I know. Did you just I see it out of your stand. eye? Did you see out of your eye or I what? I see it coming. Oh, okay. That's what I do for a living. I see things. Yeah, apparently in your office. Now, now that I know it's your office. It's going to work for you, stay I wouldn't do that. Uh -huh. Whatever. Um, okay, what was I saying? You were saying that you want a chilling table. I know, I because do. Because that's the most important thing for us to have. Yeah. I want a building. Okay, but I'm I saying. can make food and, and enjoy it. Okay. So with the building, I'm just saying a nice amenity, maybe a company would want to sponsor my chilling table and even design it or donate it. That would be awesome. That would be, awesome. That would be really good. And so if we could get like little things like that, and it would just be so much better for the children because really, truly, let me know. Tell me about some times years ago, maybe, that on a hot, hot day, maybe that you went to drink some milk or something, that maybe it wasn't as cold as <laughs> you. What, I mean, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I don't mind warm milk. I with chunks. I don't like it with chunks, but I don't like it ice cold. Oh, really? I like milk. And milk. Like, do you like cow milk or oat milk, coconut milk, almond milk? What kind of milk do you like? Regular milk. Cow milk, two percent, non-fat. That's non where it comes from most of the time from the store, right? It comes from cows. Wait, mostly. they don't have cows at the store. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, but all right, that's true. So. The, the lukewarm milk didn't bother me, but I did like I it. I think there were a lot of people that didn't like it. Well, their bellies would be hurting. But we don't do that now because Roberta gives us cold milk. I try. So now I don't drink the milk. Why? Oh, because it's cold. You want me to microwave it for you? <laughs> <laughs> Try me to sit it out tonight. I'll, I'll I just, can sit it out tonight. I'll drink your Gatorade. Okay. He Gatorade. does like Gatorade. It's the um, fierce purple. I don't know. Great. Anyways, all right, so we're trying to get money, and I'll put a link on there or something. I don't know. What, they would just Google NWOCYC, the camp. If you remember, like, different, maybe you've gone to this camp, or maybe you are older, and you've gone to camps, um, you know, when you were younger, and you have really fond memories, and you remember the friendships you built, and different things that you learned. We have church camps that we learn about that. Um, so maybe you would just want to donate because of that. That'd be good. So, and then you could be a part of something wonderful. Um, the kids come from all over. They don't just come from Tiffin. And um, we come all the way from Wood County. And that's the microwave. It's not our timer. No. And so, and <laughs> he thinks I'm a son. It's fine. It's fine. Um, he thinks you're crazy. Stop. Did, okay. he, did he tell you that? I look on his face. Do you think I'm crazy? He said, <laughs> he must not, do you watch my videos? Oh, he's going to plead the fifth? That's a little mean. 
wow, this is a church camp, boys. Okay? Okay. You didn't need, need, need to be nice. All right, anyways, I'm sorry. I'm extra tired today, so I don't, I'm not responsible for what you're doing. Yes, all right, go ahead and do that. Where's the thing? It's like, now when I open it, it boils. All right, so be careful. Oh! Hands. I do. I and have those when I used to wash dishes in the Dallas. Oh. Make French fries. You make, like, see, you can, make, pans. you can make French fries in your in your fryer. I just make them in a regular fryer. Huh? But I don't go to the process of making homemade ones. Yes, you can. You can do that. They're so good. These are gonna look like we like pork. I mean, like pork. Well, I mean. I know, but I want to make sure they're done. You know, it's really hot. This so one? I know, yes. Yeah. Thank you. It's great. It's great. There's been a lot of screaming. It is. There's. Why well, do Knock on wood. I'm going to say this and I'm going to see one more. <laughs> that would be kind of oh, funny. Yeah. And I just crawled them, you know, a mouth, you know. You won't be any nice All right. You know, I feel like this. I feel like they're done. They should be done. Okay. I don't think this one is, but no, maybe it is. All right. Now, typically when I'm at home, now these look hard on top, but it'll be okay. I'll show you how to soften them up. My trick, yes. My trick. Well, you know, these two look good. Why don't you try that and see if you like Okay. Oh, we could have put it high, but Yeah, this one does need to be a little bit more than, do you like it? Okay, did you do good? Ow! <laughs> I did for myself. Remember the pan's I know. How they cook. Okay, so that would be, like you had that, that would be kind of like the pancake okay. thing that I was talking I about. That. This one would be, okay, this one needs to um, go back in. This third. Oh. Delicious. I know. Turn it down there. Okay. Oh, I know. Yeah, you probably just boil a little bit if you want to. Like just here. I got these ones. Yeah, they're hard. Okay. There you go. Well, at least the pan got hot, you know. Okay. So, right when they come out, they, you know, they're warm, whatever. Usually what I do is um, try to hold the stuff down. Why is it warm? Okay. Um, hold the foil down somehow. All right. And then we need, yeah. So you take them out of the um, pans. You guys tell me that I'm like losing it. I'm tired. Um, so. I know. Thanks. Such a helper. Oh, there you go. Are they too hot? I mean, I don't want you to get your voice. Soft, baby doctor pans. Yes, I don't want to mess them up. Okay. So you just do it really fast, and if you can't, that's okay. You can wear, um, you know, whatever. You don't have to be like cool like us. Back here, like vomiting. I don't know. What? Oh! The dryer is um, like getting dry. Oh my gosh, the heat coming off of them. All right, so they do look a little hard, but you can see around them the sugary 
It's so good. And it could have been burnt, really, truly. All right, so go ahead. You How don't long? think it takes... How long? Uh, just enough to coil or wrap them. Yeah, yes. Um, One foot? Yes, that's perfect. Okay. Now, how do you keep it from doing that? Well, just put it down. All right. Yeah, all right. I'll do it real quick and then I'll do it. Okay, so that's what you do. You do this. Now, typically, I'll let them just cool for a second or five and then throw them in the um, refrigerator. And what happens is they almost like crystallize with the sugar and everything. And they're so good and really, really soft. And I do want you to try this though with butter. So I'm going to go get butter while he's um, dealing with that. Do you wish it was your kitchen? No. That's true, that's true. Okay. You're doing a fantastic job. I know. You're supposed to be gracious and say thank you. Thank you. So when your patients or something say, you're such a great doctor, you say, I'm way nicer than my patients. So you're saying I should be a patient? No. I don't think you could handle me as a patient. No, that would be <laughs> I'm coming in with a broken leg, and he's like, mm, can't do it. Get her out. All right, we have to remember, because we don't want that thing starting on fire. What? No, this. You're saying, oh, like, don't forget. Good. Okay, so. Oh, I uh, set a timer, apparently. Okay, I'll do this. You do that. Because I don't want to do the other part. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I guess I can do it. Okay. All right. We're going to say it's done even if it's not because it's stinking hot. Are you sweaty? I'm sweaty. Okay. It's hot. Oh, I'm sweating. Oh, well, he's glistening. I'm sweating, and I don't like to sweat. All right. So why don't we cut this one just because if it's yuck, we don't want... We wouldn't want people having yucky stuff and saying, ew. You know what I mean? That one's really hot. Okay. <laughs> What's so funny? Because I, I burnt myself. You said that's really hot. Oh, all right. Oh, look at that. Oh, um, that looks so good. All right. All right. I'm gonna. Do, oh, I gotta get a Just so many things that I don't have. Like, what are you like? Help me! I swear to God, if you're mouthing. Help me! I mean, I swear to goodness. Morse code. Yes. I will not, yeah. That will not be nice. Okay. This is going to be so good. Now, do you mind the bottom um, end piece? No, it's sugary. Yeah, it is so sugary too. Now, it will be moisty, moistened um, later after it gets, like it, it seals in there and it just, it's so good. You'll love it. the plastic wrap come off or does it stick to the bread? Oh, no. Like if I... No, I have to open it. Okay. No, it comes right off. And what I do is freeze them. And then when people come over or I have to go to someone's house or go visit, I just defrost them, like just let them sit there. I don't know if they're there. All right, so he's gonna try these, this, and see how he likes it. Now he made some earlier today. And you can give us a, I mean, you've made it too, so I mean, it might, I think truly these are a little done and I don't like it that done. That's Jamie impression. No, that's Jamie. <laughs> but okay, he's gonna give me a, um, my little boy sometimes does a little tells me. But Jamie loves banana bread. Usually does. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so what did Woody give me on it? Out of ten. Yeah. It's a nine and a half. It's All right. What? It's outstanding. Okay, so you made bread earlier today. What did you think of yours? 
Or that one. Or you all did. Had the clumps in it? No. Maybe a seven. Oh, seven. That's good. The flavor was good, but I didn't like the little. The, okay, which was better, clumps. this flavor or the other flavor? Or maybe not. Um, you guys put different they things. They both tasted like bananas. Oh, so that's good. Nice. Okay. But the other one had clumps. Like you said that was clumps. nice. Oh, you do have emotions. Okay. <laughs> Um, so the other one was clumpy? I don't remember. I didn't look. Now, in here, now didn't you used to puree your, your bananas? And then why did you stop? Because it's better with the little banana chunks in it. And where did you learn that from? Me. Okay. Um, anyways, all right. So, yeah, I mean, it is good, isn't it? It's delicious. It is good. Which you haven't tried, but never know. This one, not so well. We, we, we got this one out. It's raw. But it's not our fault. They overfilled the thing. I did. Well, yeah, probably. Maybe it was a combo. I put one from them. Yeah, and it's no big deal. If you get one, I typically don't by myself. But if you get one, I'm just saying, um, bad one, no big deal. It's not bad, though. I mean, you can eat this still. No, don't eat that. Um, <laughs> But typically, no, okay, so here, you can eat all this stuff. This one I think has butter, one of them, this is the bad, you didn't eat that kind, the bad. Well, you, did you put butter on it? Yeah, did I? I don't know, can you see? Which one did you butter? Did you eat two? I think you buttered one that was half done. Oh, all right. all right. I can eat it without butter, it's good, but it's better with butter. It, do you think, say that twice. Yeah. Better butter, better butter. Um, this is melting, okay. Seriously, it's been so off for five seconds. So the butter's melting? Yes. It is. It is hot. We could have cooked them right here on the stove. I, I think it would have been hotter. That's why, though, I thought it was on it. Because I did. When you were out doing your chores, um, and I could find you, like, I didn't want to if it was on. Because I didn't want to. Now, you guys put cinnamon, and I don't. I don't like, I don't like anything messed up with this thing. I would not put... Um, Chocolate chips? I don't know. I just, it's so I don't good. I like chocolate chips. My kids like chocolate chips in them. Oh, do they? And it's how do you up. get chocolate chips from not, um, and I can't say her name, but she, she kind of helped you today with that. Um, I talked to, about that on my show sometimes. How can you get chocolate chips from not sinking to the bottom in your recipes? She talked about it today. What did she say? How did you do that? You know, <laughs> okay, you can put them in flour. That, does that make sense? Yeah, you like, like even my strawberries, when I make strawberry bread, um, you can put it in flour. Now the peach bread, so good. I was so trying good. to cook the steaks while we were here. I know. I know. But she mentioned it later. Okay, you keep doing this. Um, did you try the peach bread? I did. It was delicious. No, I want the, did you, this is still in there? Okay, I gotta run get his the peach bread. The ones that she gave me. Yeah, you have me. Yesterday, I didn't. I know, I brought them. The ones you gave me this morning, where are they at? I put them in here. Oh, that's right. Very precise. So, okay, so I voted that, and you like the end piece better because you said it was more sugary. Yeah, where's the piece of butter? No, I, I don't ever butter this. Did I eat that piece No, you That's said good. you were stuffed. Okay, so I made more peach bread. This peach bread is so good. There's a video, part one, part two, part three, because we were in the camper. Um, but anyways, I don't know what happened here. Hold on. Did you show them the peach bread in the egg? No, I probably didn't because I. All right. So this is the peach bread from a, a video I'll post. It is so good. Where did you get the peaches from? I got them from the peach truck in Georgia, from Georgia. They come down and um, deliver. I feel like there's flies. You're going to have to go over to my house because my peaches are going to I know. I was tripping them. I took a picture of um, the peaches I had, and I didn't show the box. And I, I said, look what I picked. And then when he saw it, I said, up at the, <laughs> at the place. And he's like, how did you get them so nice? And I thought, really? Come on. I can't grow a flower. 
I, I, there's no way I would grow fruit. All right, try that. You don't have to try that one. Try that one. Or whatever, which one. Now, this is cold. It is better when it's warm. But it's good, right? All right, so what would you give that? I mean, had you ever had peach bread before this week? Never. Okay. So, what would you give it on the flavor and taste and whatever? Um, and you like peaches and you like bananas. Okay. I love peaches. Okay, so which one do you like better if you had to pick um, that or this? Banana or, okay, you like the banana better. Okay. Are you trying to say that? Is it because you made it with me or because I just made that? Okay, no. You just like bananas better or you just like this whole flavor better? I like the flavor better. Mm -hmm. And I've been making banana bread since I was a little kid. So I've always loved it. Okay, so you always so do you think Max gets your? I'm gonna go wash my hands. Over okay, do you think Max gets your? Oh, I said your child's name. I'm sorry. Do you think your little guy gets um, your cooking skills then, or the passion for cooking from you, or where do you think he gets it, or just born with it? I think he just likes to eat food. Well, and he likes to cook with you. So. Oh, he cooks with you. Okay, so well, he cooks with my wife now too. But okay. This is one of the first things I think he made with me. Is the bread. bread? Yeah. And it wasn't clumpy because it wasn't clumpy. I stirred up the flour right or something. So the other one wasn't clumpy. I could be just a hand flour, you know, really. Has this been the first time it's been clumpy? I've never tried to make the recipe four times, like oh that big. What? I've never four times. Oh, you. The recipe. Okay. And Paul, we just make one. Oh, okay. One. So here you did one. Portion of it makes two loaves, not twelve loaves or whatever. Okay. Okay. And how did you get that recipe? That like, one is out of the old Betty Cracker cookbook. And how did you get it here, though? Oh, did we want it? No, we didn't. Want it. Um, how did you access it here? Did you Google it? Is it in a crock pot or a cookbook here? Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. so um. No, she was oh. She's and not she here now, or we would have her come over. She's at home sleeping because it's too early to do this. It is. It's 11.30. Okay, so, but if you had it for peach bread, what would you rate the peach Are bread? Are you asking me what I would rate the peach bread out of 10? Yeah. An 8. I'll give it an 8. It's bread with peaches. I would rather just eat peaches. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so we'll give this to someone else because obviously you don't <laughs> appreciate it. I'm joking. Okay, so please, um, you know, you can leave a comment. I think, can you leave a comment on YouTube? I don't think they can leave comments on the channel. Oh, why? Because sometimes your kids on there. And sometimes and they turn the kids off, or they turn the comments off on videos of their kids because they don't want them. Oh. I didn't know that. Well, I always they put. Don't want bad people. I always put it's four kids. Oh, maybe that's why. Because I put four kids. If you look at the bottom of your screen, if you're looking at this, look at the comments, and it says I turned it off. Okay, so wait a minute. Well, that might be better because then Otherwise, it's so. Otherwise, I would have left you mean comments. I guess I was gonna say if people were mean to me, I would probably cry and look at them. All right, so I always you thought it was. Never noticed you know, the comments on your. I, I just thought everybody was like, yay. I don't know. <laughs> okay, wait. So when I post it, <laughs> when I post this one, ooh, is this stuff at all? No. Oh, oh my gosh, you left it on. Anyways, so when I'm posting it, it's either post for kids or post for adults. And I thought if you post for kids, that means kids can watch it because it's not bad. But that's not what it means. I, I don't work for YouTube, but I'm pretty sure that's what the problem is. Oh, I don't know then. Because I am kind of... And if your kid's on the video, no matter what you do, oh. like they don't comment still. I'm sensitive, though. And if someone, like, is me, I don't know. Maybe you don't I want, You don't want to comment. No, I don't think I do. Okay. People are not nice. No. Be nice. Yes. Public service announcement. No, it's just be nice. PSA. PSA. Yeah. All right. That's true. All right. So, I think you're tired. Because he's being nice. I'm tired. And you're being tired. I gotta figure out that stair face or whatever. All right, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you, Mark, for being a guest. Thank you. And thanks for the camp for allowing us to do this project. And we will, like, um, if you Google NWOCYC, 
um, you will be able to. Can you tell them what that all means? Oh, Northwest Ohio. I think I did. But... Northwestern. Oh no. Okay, go on. You tell them. Ohio. Christian. Northwestern Ohio. Christian. Christian Youth, Youth Camp. Camp. And so it's in McCutcheonville, Ohio. There's a website, and then there's a donation button, right? I'm assuming, yes. I'm hot. He doesn't ever get on. I don't go on the website. Okay. I just come here. Work. He just stays in his office with his pictures and of like, broken things. And um, this does your thing. Okay. But, so you can donate. Thank you. Have a good night.